Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your reading. This is a predictive reading. So if you don't know what it is, all the more reason to pay attention to it to see what's going to come up. Okay. This reading could contain multiple messages for different people. Right up to the very end, we could be receiving messages. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided for whatever reason to watch the Pisces reading what are the messages what do we need to know what are the messages this like I said could resonate now or could resonate later on down the line it is predictive okay all right let's get into it Pisces reading what's most important here what do we need to know about what are the messages Pisces okay we got the five of cups got some change coming in so you know we see the fives and we automatically are like no not a five fives do stink but they show what we've been through right so um this means change is coming it's a it could be about divine timing with the temperance coming out remember this is vice versa tarot so there's a different perspective on each side so we're i'm going to say reverse but it really means a different perspective okay so we got a different perspective of the temperance card here and this temperance card represents sagittarius and um leo and aries so they're all involved okay we got the two of pentacles all right what else do we need to know central issue please for pisces what is the central issue okay we've got justice smack dab in the middle of your reading how nice is that okay we got the nine of cups beautiful so you got some really nice energy here pisces nine of cups justice three of wands you're manifesting whatever this is in give me a little more information pisces reading what else do we need to know here okay eight of cups what else do we need to know here yeah there you go the ace of uh, no i'm sorry the ten of cups but it has the ace of cups on it we're going to talk about that some of these cards are two for one cards in this deck one more card here please for pisces one more card pisces reading okay knight of swords reversed okay and we've got the death card at the bottom excellent this is so nice actually um something is closing out it's a decision that you're going to make so you're busy working with the universe here the magician trying to figure out what way you're going to go in a situation what direction you're going to take in a situation where are you going to go to get your new beginning see how the magician and the two of wands are both back turned straight out at the universe saying hey universe i want my new beginning which path should i take right and you're deciding with the two of swords here you could have had a really hard time deciding this um, for some of you you could have ended a relationship or a partnership because right behind that is the hierophant but not necessarily for everybody we have the four of wands here and we have the death card so it is possible for some of you this is something that already happened okay that you could have or you could be deciding right now as we come into this something about a partnership or changing a direction with a partnership so this could doesn't mean you have an, ended the relationship it could mean that you're changing a direction or going in a whole new way right so again decision these are all your decisions so two of pentacles you're weighing out your options two of swords where you're really having a hard time figuring something out about making a decision and again your decision on which way to go two of wands it's all your decision all right so as we come into the reading you're transforming the situation you're deciding we're going to do this in a different way whatever this is about whether it's where you live whether it's your relationship whether it's your partnership whether it's your home and family whatever it is so as we come into the reading there has been some kind of disappointment five of cups some of you could have decided to go your own way right uh, for others of you, you're still thinking about it. You're really not sure what to do. You're still weighing out your options. You're still not ready quite yet, and it's not quite time yet for you to decide. You're pulling on your inner strength. You're focused on your four of wands. You're really trying to figure out what to do here. You've got spiritual help. You feel like, um, I really feel like you want to be sure before you commit to something um now when i say commit to something it could be to walk away it could be to commit to 
change a direction. It could be to commit to whatever it is you've been calling in. You have been manifesting something here with the three of um, wands because we know you've been working with the universe on a new beginning, right? So you're really focused on your new beginning, but figuring out what direction that new beginning is going to be in has been the thing that's been hardest for you because we literally see you going through a hard time with this decision even though you're working with spirit it still doesn't make the decision easy for some of you you might be moving i'm feeling for some of you um, especially because you got eight of cups here and you're leaving something emotional behind some of you could be leaving a relationship behind some of you have already you know done this or you're about to go out on your own on your independent journey here or even together but it's like you're ready to um leave behind something this feels very much like leave behind something because well you know the ace of cups is way back there meaning you got to go get it like i got to go get this new ace of cups this new opportunity that you're working on back here remember you are working on something new all right so these this ten of cups is not filled and the Ace of Cups, it's way back there. It's on top of this lotus flower, way back there, right? This is the Ten of Cups. But on this side, we still need to fill the cups because the Ace of Cups is way back there. We're not there yet, right? So we're trying to um, figure out where to go, what to do, how to go about getting our wish fulfillment, right? Now, you are manifesting your wish fulfillment. It's here, and it sits on either side of justice, all right, so this justice is this balance. See how this this is like really balanced. Like I'm trying to balance something out in my life, but I need to know where I'm going, what I'm doing, how to transform it, even if it does mean that I might have to leave things or people or places behind because I really want this new beginning. I mean, I've been calling it in. I'm manifesting it. I'm calling it in here. I'm manifesting it. It's on its way or I'm on my way to it is what I'm really feeling. But let's find out. Let's see what it is that you are doing here. There's a lot of good in this reading, but I can also see where with the good comes, you know, a little bit of something that's been difficult. Maybe leaving something or someone behind. It doesn't have to be a person, though. It could be, but and you might be moving. Like I said, for some of you, I feel like you're moving and it's a little bit bittersweet. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading? What are the messages? What are the messages here? Pisces reading for anyone with Pisces placement or anyone else who's guided to see the Pisces reading. What do we need to know about it? What are the messages? Pisces reading. One more shuffle. Pisces reading. Okay, one more shuffle. Pisces reading. I keep feeling like there's one more shuffle there. All right, what do we need to know about this reading? We're going to go right to justice in the center. This is really coming into some kind of balance here. For some of you, you could be, you know, going through a divorce, but I don't feel it. You've got such positive energy all around it. Talk to me, you know, you got the wish fulfillment and you got manifesting your wishes, right? Tell me about justice. What do we need to know? Pisces reading wise, justice here. Could be dealing with a Libra just one or two that's way too many can we just get one or two for pisces please why is justice in this it, okay seven of chalices reverse so seven of chalices reversed Fe this is clarity okay so remember justice and clarity coming in right remember blindfolded just like the justice card trying to get clarity on what to do in a situation so this the whole reading is about you not really knowing what to do and needing this clarity so that involves your entire reading okay let's and here you are at the bottom queen of cups reversed by the way trying to get this clarity about whatever it is or wherever it is you're going to be heading tell me about the five of cups what has been the disappointment around this what is the five of cups doing here oh something's got to end exactly exactly something's got to end Pisces, the moon reversed. This also feels, you know, this is that clarity coming in. Like you're realizing something's got to close out in order for you to have this new beginning. You're going to have to leave something behind to head towards your ace. Look at how the eight of cups 
walks away from whatever's been emotional or whatever they need to leave behind to head to that ace of cups. That's the way it sits on my table. That person right here that's leaving something behind is walking towards something brand new. And really the knight is heading out as well. Remember, these are vice versa tarot. It shows a different perspective. Instead of the knight coming in, the night is going out. I feel someone is looking out to their future, but their future lies somewhere else. We've got to walk away. Now, this could be metaphorical, but we got to leave something behind to invite in the new. Transformation, death of old, birth of new. It's all here. But it's what you want. So keep this in mind. This is very positive reading. There's nothing negative here. Tell me about the, except for the fact that it's bittersweet. That's the only thing. This is bittersweet for you. Tell me about um, the Two of Pentacles. I want to know more about the Two of Pentacles there. Pisces reading. Why is Two of Pentacles involved in Pisces reading? Why? I mean, it's very clear to see that you've had multiple opportunities to, or multiple times of thinking, thinking, thinking about what you're going to do in a situation. Yeah, absolutely. There it is. Look at this. I mean, it couldn't be clearer, Pisces. You're going to decide to go on the journey. You're going to decide to move forward. You're going to decide to leave something behind to go get your new. And I can see this over and over again in your reading. Okay. It's about divine timing here. Tell me about the um, temperance card here. It's on the reversal. It's on the non-traditional side. And it might be that you need to pull on your inner strength because you see that giant lion right behind Archangel Michael there. Tell me about this temperance card in its Oh my God, again. So it is, it's about you going on your journey, but this journey means you have to leave this behind. You're going to have to end something to go on this journey, Pisces, and it's all about divine timing. Again, so you've got Archangel Michael here saying, pull on your inner strength. Archangel Michael's here twice in temperance. Okay, leave whatever you need to leave behind and end whatever needs to be ended so that you can go on this brand new journey for what you want. What you want lies somewhere away from where you are. Um, there's a transformation needed here to bring in this joy and happiness. I don't know exactly what this is, but over and over and over and over again, you're being told, go for it. Whatever it is that you've been calling in is yours for the taking. Let's look at it. Three of wands, nine of cups. It surrounds your central issue. Nine of cups, three of wands. What do we need to know here? Yeah. Done with the burdens. Ten of wands. This is the end of a cycle. Everywhere I look, your wish fulfillment is to end something, end something, end something, and walk into something brand new. This is all you keep doing is hoping and wishing that I could drop these burdens and I could head into something brand new. Tell me about the um, Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups here, because like I said, they are ones leading to the other. And the Seven of Wands, winner, winner. You fought for this and you're able to have this. It is the card of a winner, the seven of wands. The seven of wands is always on the top of the pile. No matter what comes at me, I'm a Pisces enlightened by this. This is a Pisces card of, you've already thought about this. You already know what to do. You are going to go on this journey because you are, uh, this is like a, this is like somebody who doesn't back down. Like I know that if I fight for what I want, I'm going to have what I want, but it does mean I'm going to have to face my fears. Remember Archangel Michael's here saying your stability lies with facing your fears and doing something that constitutes leaving something behind and ending something else so that you can go receive this beautiful blessing. But with this blessing comes an ending over and over again. Same thing over and over again. Pisces, this couldn't be a clearer reading. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. In fact, this is probably going to be my shortest reading of all the weeklies. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. 
this knight of swords is headed out someplace going on a journey leaving something behind just like the rest of the cards indicate whoa that's way too many we can only take one or two knight of swords here please knight of swords for pisces anything we should know this knight, knight of swords is in the reverse leaving behind something yeah cutting yourself free it couldn't be clearer pisces cut yourself free see how the eight of swords she takes that at them and she cuts herself free from something that has held her back done you're going on the journey no more being stuck wherever you are you're never going to achieve anything or go anywhere knight of pentacles reverse and spirit says when you cut yourself free you are headed towards peace you are headed towards victory big time this is beautiful this is where your balance is going to come into your life but you have to see that clearly as in of, of success the thing that you leave behind helps you dump all the burdens so this ten of swords it's reversed. Well, it was reversed. It came out reversed. Um, ending whatever this is. Ten of Swords reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Death card. The world. The Eight of Chalices. I mean, this the Six of Swords. All cards of, I'm done with this, but I'm heading towards something else. The Eight of Cups heading towards the Ace of Cups. With that Ace of Cups comes a beautiful healing on a lotus flower. Okay, also the Ten of Cups here hasn't been fulfilled yet. Remember, because we got to get to that Ace of Cups. Going on a journey, a journey that I will decide. I've been thinking about it for a long time. I'm going to make the decision to get in the boat. I'm going in the boat. I'm doing it. It's about divine timing. So you needed this time to reflect on this. You needed this time to call in your wish fulfillment. I'm mo from the looks of this, your wish fulfillment really is not to carry a heavy burden anymore, not to be in whatever predicament has kept you feeling so emotional and stuck and to cut yourself free. I don't know what this is, Pisces, but it's there's so much very positive, very big energy here. This is big energy. We're talking death. We're talking world. We're talking temperance, not once, what twice. So we got Archangel protection here. We are talking justice. Um, you know, you've got the nine of cups. You have the eight of cups. These are also, and the ten of wands reversed and the ten of swords reversed. We're dumping this. We're letting it go. We're, we're ending things that need to be we're washing something clean is what it feels like washing our spirit clean calling in all this newness this is you you're literally fighting and while you're calling this in you're fighting for that beautiful ace of cups right there this is what you're calling in and remember this is all about this ace of pentacles as, as well when you go down this new path you're going to reach an ace of pentacles and an ace of cups but it does constitute a decision. It does constitute calling in what you want. And it does constitute ending something. For some of you, you will leave wherever it is you live, I feel. And for others of you, you will leave something. There's something or someone. Now, I don't specifically see a person here. I do see there's a, you know, partnership here. But is this change going to lead you to this partnership? Because somehow you're going to be led to an ace of cups back there but this isn't yet this isn't yet it's on your journey anyway i hope that this makes sense to someone i hope if you will already have been thinking and thinking and thinking and weighing on this so in other words i want you to see this this is not coming lightly this is something you have thought long and hard about look at it ace of pen i'm, I'm sorry Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Two of Wands. This is something that is not just showing up on your doorstep. You have thought and thought and thought and even racked your brain over this for a while until you finally made up your mind. And what you made up your mind was, was to get in the boat and go. That This card is my peace card. It takes us to peace. This journey is going to take you to wherever it is that you've been thinking about manifesting in that's going to help you dump the burdens remember the burdens came out in reverse on top of your wish fulfillment which is where you're heading so i'd love to hear from you guys pisces what a straight up very very straight up reading 
Um, if you haven't seen your monthly reading, I don't know what it was, I forget, but I hope you will check it out. I'm going to attach it to the upper left-hand corner here so that you can just click into it. Angels, what do we need to know here? One more, please. Authenticity, depth, and transformation. Woo! What did we talk about this whole reading? Your main card, your general um, energy around this reading. Transformation. There it is, right there. Dig deep, depth, and open up that heart authenticity. I feel like this change is going to be so positive for you. I don't. I know this change is going to be different for everybody, and it might not constitute leaving anywhere, but it's going to be a metaphorical kind of a transformation and leaving. It's it's definitely a huge change in your life. I can see this. Whatever it is. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so positive, Pisces. Please do comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyway, comment, like. It helps the channel grow when you guys like the videos. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.